Let's explore the fascinating 1961 film Judgment at Nuremberg today. This movie not only gives us a gripping courtroom story, but also dives into the complexities of justice and morality after World War II. With a talented ensemble cast, the film showcases surprising, funny, and heart-wrenching moments that have left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Among the many skilled actors, let's talk about the standout role. For me, the character that left a strong impression was Judge Dan Haywood, played by Spencer Tracy. His portrayal of a thoughtful and morally conflicted judge during a challenging war crimes trial was not only compelling, but also deeply moving. Did this movie leave a mark on your life? Did it inspire you or make you see things differently? Maybe you have a personal story about how judgment at Nuremberg influenced your views on justice and history. And speaking of personal connections, do you have a memorable experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready to uncover interesting facts about this cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate audiences even decades after its release. Stay tuned for more. Title A Reflective Analysis of Morality and Justice in Judgment at Nuremberg, released in 1961, this three-hour film exceeds expectations by maintaining viewer interest throughout. Its strength lies in a seemingly straightforward premise, allowing the story to unfold seamlessly and leave a lasting impression. One powerful scene involves a former state prosecutor for the Nazis confronting the revelation of war atrocities. The film adeptly uses such moments to explore the characters' perspectives, placing them in a prison cafeteria setting and weaving a narrative of recent and troubling events. Beyond exposing well-known Nazi atrocities, the film delves into lesser-known factors that facilitated their actions. It sheds light on historical nuances such as Churchill's praise of Hitler in 1938 and the presence of Nazi influences within the United States. The narrative also addresses the compromise of justice for practicality during the Cold War, revealing a shared animosity towards communists that even binds the U.S. and fascist Germany. The movie doesn't shy away from examining mercy and forgiveness as well, contrasting the desire to move forward with the fear of mirroring the very injustices it condemns. Attorneys, judges, and widows offer compelling arguments, presenting a rich array of viewpoints. Despite this, the film boldly and confidently asserts its stance on what is right in this challenging scenario. It is this depth that elevates the film, making it worthy of study while being watched. The narrative's ability to present various valid arguments, give them due consideration, and then decisively choose a moral stance adds a layer of depth that demands reflection. In conclusion, Judgment at Nuremberg is a thought-provoking exploration of morality and justice in the aftermath of war, offering a rich examination of historical events and human nature. Exploring the layers of Judgment at Nuremberg, we uncover interesting aspects that go beyond the courtroom drama. The movie's relevance goes beyond its 1961 release, offering a reflection on morality and justice after the war. The strength of this three-hour narrative lies in its ability to keep viewer interest, presenting a seemingly simple premise that unfolds seamlessly. One notable aspect is the film's portrayal of historical details, shedding light on lesser-known factors contributing to Nazi atrocities. It bravely delves into Churchill's praise of Hitler in 1938, revealing the influences that allow would such actions to occur. Additionally, Judgment at Nuremberg doesn't shy away from addressing the presence of Nazi influences within the United States, offering a thought-provoking exploration of the complexities after World War II. The Cold War's shadow looms large in the narrative, revealing a compromise of justice for practicality. The shared animosity towards communists binds the U.S. and fascist Germany, raising questions about the true essence of justice in a post-war world. The film navigates through these political intricacies, presenting a range of perspectives from attorneys, judges, and widows. Each character contributes compelling arguments, creating a variety of viewpoints that add depth to the exploration of morality. The movie's exploration of mercy and forgiveness adds another layer to its narrative. It contrasts the desire to move forward with the fear of replicating the injustices it condemns. In the prison cafeteria setting, characters engage in powerful dialogues, unraveling recent and troubling events. Despite the array of valid arguments presented, the film boldly and confidently asserts its moral stance, demanding reflection from the audience. 
In essence, it stands as a testament to its ability to present various perspectives, give them due consideration, and then decisively choose a moral stance. It remains a thought-provoking exploration of morality and justice, urging viewers to contemplate the intricacies of historical events and human nature. The movie transcends its time, leaving a lasting impression that extends far beyond the courtroom drama it portrays. In 2017, Judy Garland's remains were moved from Ferncliff Cemetery in New York to a family crypt at Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. Garland's children wanted to be buried alongside their mother, and now she shares the same cemetery with her childhood friend and co-star Mickey Rooney. Richard Widmark made his screen debut in the 1947 film Kiss of Death, where he played a memorable role as Tommy Udo, a ruthless mob hitman. In a chilling scene, Udo pushes a wheelchair-bound woman down a stairway, showcasing Widmark's intense and menacing presence on screen. Judgment at Nuremberg has left a lasting mark beyond cinema, referenced in songs like Happy Phantom by Tori Amos, Dance in the Dark by Lady Gaga, and A Room at the Heartbreak Hotel by U2. The film's exploration of justice, morality, and the aftermath of war resonates in various artistic expressions, solidifying its place in popular culture. These musical references highlight the enduring relevance of the movie's examination of morality and justice in the post-war era. The film skillfully unfolds a seemingly simple story, offering a nuanced look at historical events and human nature. The film delves into lesser-known factors contributing to Nazi atrocities, such as Churchill praising Hitler in 1938 and Nazi influences within the United States adding depth to the narrative. The Cold War's looming shadow reveals compromises in justice for practicality, intertwining the destinies of the U.S. and fascist Germany in a shared animosity towards communists. Judgment at Nuremberg bravely addresses the complexities of mercy and forgiveness amidst compelling arguments from attorneys, judges, and widows. It contrasts the desire to move forward with the fear of perpetuating condemned injustices, presenting a range of perspectives that demand reflection from the audience. In essence, Judgment at Nuremberg remains a thought-provoking exploration of morality and justice, transcending its time to make a lasting impression on audiences. The movie's impact goes beyond the courtroom drama it portrays, urging viewers to contemplate the intricacies of historical events and human nature. Amidst the early 1960s cinematic scene, Judgment at Nuremberg stands out as a significant exploration of post-war morality and justice. The movie skillfully unfolds a seemingly simple story, delving into historical nuances and shedding light on lesser-known factors contributing to Nazi atrocities. One notable aspect is how it portrays the Cold War's looming shadow, revealing compromises in justice for practicality. It intertwines the destinies of the U.S. and fascist Germany in a shared animosity towards communists, questioning the true essence of justice in a post-war world. The exploration of such political intricacies adds depth to the narrative, presenting a range of perspectives from attorneys, judges, and widows. Intriguingly, the film boldly addresses the presence of Nazi influences within the United States, offering a thought-provoking examination of the complexities after World War II. The characters engage in powerful dialogues in a prison cafeteria setting, unraveling recent and troubling events. The exploration of mercy and forgiveness adds another layer to the narrative, contrasting the desire to move forward with the fear of perpetuating condemned injustices. Despite the array of valid arguments presented by various characters, the movie confidently asserts its moral stance, demanding reflection from the audience. This thought-provoking exploration of morality and justice transcends its time, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Judgment at Nuremberg has not only impacted cinema, but has also resonated in various artistic expressions referenced in songs like Happy Phantom by Tori Amos, Dance in the Dark by Lady Gaga, and A Room at the Heartbreak Hotel by U2. In essence, the movie remains a powerful exploration of historical events and human nature, urging viewers to contemplate the intricacies of a world grappling with the aftermath of war.